Hello everyone, my name's Anna and I'm the creative designer at Active IQ and it is now the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas, my favourite. So today we are going to be creating a Christmas wreath. So firstly what we need is a blank piece of card, now it doesn't matter what colour card because this is just going to form the base of our wreath so that we can start sticking things onto it. So first take the card, place it down. And then if you, what you'll need is two different size plates. One slightly smaller than the other one. So I'm gonna take my large plate and lie it down here like this. Take my Active Key pencil and I'm just going to draw all the way around this, like so. There. I'm gonna remove this plate and get my little plate and lie it centrally just very roughly in the middle and I'm also going to draw around here like this Wonderful. so this is creating the frame for our wreath so now we're going to take our scissors now if you are handling sharp objects I want you to make sure that you've got a parent or guardian supervising you so we're just going to cut around the edge here. This doesn't have to be overly neat because it is going at the back and it is just holding our wreath together. So I'm just going to go around like this. A bit more like this. Maybe sing to yourselves while you're cutting round. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cutting round to save some time. Da -da 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 -da. Right, and we'll just put that out the way. So now we just need to cut out the middle bit. Now this can be a bit tricky. So what I would recommend is just gently folding your piece of card in half, putting a little slit into it, and that will give us a nice little guide so that we can cut around the inside, giving us a little hoop. And go around again. Till we're all the way around. throw away the excess and now we have our Christmas wreath hoop. So that is the base of making our wreath. Now the fun thing about this Christmas wreath is we're making it with our hands. Now what we're going to do is make use our hands as a template. So I want you to get some green card. Now I've got some light green card and I've got some dark green card. Now, I want you to take your first piece of card and take your pencil and I want you to draw around your hand like this. And then you will have a nice handprint. So then I want you to take your scissors and cut round the edge of the hand. Now, I've got quite big hands and this isn't the biggest wreath in the world. And so what I've done for mine is I've cheated a little bit and I've drawn my own hand. So it's about the size of yours. And that way we've got some hand sizes that are a bit better and they'll look a bit nicer. So here's some I made earlier. Now what you can do to cut these out even faster is take a couple of pieces of card, draw around it, stack them up next to each other, and then cut all around, and that will make some extra quick. So, that's my cat. So, we'll take our wreath, and I'm just going to take some of these hands. Now I've got the different colours, because we want to kind of have a little bit of different tone colours when we're making this. 
this. So we're just going to position these roughly where we want them. So I'm going to put it on there. And we'll just separate our colours up a bit so we can make this a little bit more attractive. So I'm then going to put this one here. Now before you stick them down, I would recommend just laying them out so you can see what they look like. To see whether you're happy with your arrangement. I'm just gonna stick this other one there. And you can literally put them however you want. And who's to say, you don't have to just use hands, you can use your feet. You could draw some ears and cut them out, whatever you want. But I think hands look a little bit more like branches on a wreath, so. I think that's what we're going for here. So we're just gonna move all this around like this. That looks pretty good to me. So now what we're gonna do is you can either use some glue or some tape. So I'm just gonna use my print stick and we're just gonna go round underneath and stick all these down. your hands on your wreath. So now it's looking a bit bare now. I'm going to decorate this with some red berries. So what I'm going to do is I haven't really got a paintbrush or anything. So what's clever about this is you can use anything around the house but obviously check with your parents first. So what I'm going to do is take my print stick and I'm going to get a little bit of kitchen roll. So I'm just going to break a little bit off there like that and I'm going to wrap the end of my kitchen of my print stick with that so I can create some berries that are round with the end of my print stick. So I'm just gonna get some red paint and dip that in. And then we can just go one, two, three. And one, two, three. My cat's wanting to get involved today. Dusty, come here. This is Dusty, who wants to really get involved with this video. Uh, he is a Christmas cat, clearly. He wants to be involved with everything, so I'll just introduce you to him so that he's happy about that. Right, now we'll carry on with our wreath. Some more. I think we'll have three more berries here. And we'll have three more here. And let's do three more at the top. One, two, and three. Now, the last thing that we need is something to hang our really nice creation up. So I've got an active IQ ribbon. So what I'm going to do is decide which side I want to be the top. So I think it's gonna be this one. And we're just going to wrap our active IQ ribbon and you can use whatever color ribbon you want. And we're just going to tie that at the top really nicely. There we go. And now we can hang that up. And there is your Christmas wreath. Did you have fun with that, guys? I know I did once again. I always love doing our, our activities, whether it's for Christmas, Halloween or Easter. So what I want you to do now is we've now got the best part of the activity, which is the competition. So in, for your chance to win a £25 Amazon voucher, I would like you to create your own Christmas wreath. 
and it doesn't have to be like this it can be however you want it as long as you follow the basic idea but you can make your berries however you want you can cut, like color it in how you want i want you to be as creative as possible and then i want you to take a picture of your wreath and a picture of yourself with the wreath and i want you your parents to help you out so they're gonna what they're gonna do is they're gonna email me with the child's name so your name and your age and that's gonna go to marketing at activeiq.co.uk want your submissions in by Monday the 14th of December at 5 30 and then on Tuesday we'll pick our winner of the Christmas wreath that we like the best and I know it's gonna be really difficult because they're all gonna be great and then Whoever wins gets the £25 Amazon voucher. Yay! So thank you everyone for tuning in. I can't wait to see your designs and have a very Merry Christmas.